An army marches on its stomach, or so the old saying goes. Hello everyone and welcome back to another campaign achievement. Today we're doing the achievement An Army Marches on Its Stomach, where we have to complete all secondary objectives and destroy all of Dagnijan's smaller bases before he and his army march in this third Yodit mission, A Fallen Crown. The trade mission in Axum was quite successful. I sold all of my grain and bought some casks of wine, olive oil, and spices. Those goods would be sure to fetch a good price at home. I looked up from the accounts and rubbed my eyes, tired from reading by the light of a single candle. Everything all right with the camels? I said to greet the boy. He nodded. I offered him a cup of tea and responded. Let me tell you more about your date before we turn in. After marrying Prince Anobis, Yodit had to be patient for her vengeance. Her husband had to become king and build a larger army if they were to ever defeat the mighty Aksumite Empire. Five years had passed since Anobis had taken the throne when Yodit learned that the Aksumite king, Dagnashan, was planning a military expedition to the east. If she could send an elite force to ambush and kill Dagnajan, the Aksumite Empire would be severely crippled. Main objectives. Kill Dagnajan while he marches with his army. Hence, we have 150 population limit and can go to the Imperial Age. There's lots of enemy camps that we'll need to destroy for the achievement. There's a rebellion we'll need to pick a side. Don't waste time and explore the region well. Scouts report. Yodit's army were in the north. The Be Begimdare kingdom is in the east. They basically just train a few archers and a couple spearmen or men-at-arms. To the south, there's Orange, who is our ally. And then to the west side of the map, there is this rebellion. We'll have to pick a side between yellow and purple. Both of them are in the feudal age, so it's pretty easy to just take them out later on. And then there's... Dagnajan, who is in the south and is our main opponent. There's also the Orthodox monks, which are in the mountains, and the hints and scouts don't mention, but we'll need to deal with them. Okay, let's just take out these archers. Yeah, that archer firing without even looking at us. Okay, and we also are going to need some houses. Okay, there's an elephant we'll hunt later. Now, basically, I just want to take out the archery range where those archers are being produced from, and my show tails, thankfully, will be useful for doing that. Lost one of them, unfortunately. But oh well. I love the archers to have to defend them. Okay, let's bring that archer over. Maybe that has to go up. Okay, there we go. Take out that archery range now. And we got villagers being created. Perfect. Oh, there's another archer there. As long as he's attacking the scout, we're fine. And we'll just do a basic fast castle build here. Six on food, then we'll go to wood. And about seven population more than normal. And we might need more than just the standard 26 villagers since we're already in the feudal age and we won't have that period we spend in the feudal age normally gathering food. If we run across here, there'll be a few more scouts for us to find. There you go. A few more light cabs. Let's take out this barracks, too, if we can. We've got to get around the back so the TC doesn't hit us. And there we are. Nice. See, I'm also going to want actually a lumber camp, so let's go over there. And there we go. We've got to take out the archers so they don't kill the showtels. Then we will need a house, actually. Let's lure in that elephant next. 
can't kill the TC with the Shotels because it will, unfortunately, kill them. <laughs> Just get that house up so we don't forget. Hey. Back to the TC. Just kind of should block that a tiny bit if you can. Uh, maybe even do the wood upgrade later. You guys can shoot the elephant. We have loom, so we don't really need to worry about that villager too much. There's no real point in harassing them. They don't really pose much of a threat. They do have another village with a few archery rangers, and if we could take out those rangers, that will help us tremendously, because then they won't be harassing us. Let's do the wood upgrade, we'll have the food for it. And there should be a few deer that we can mill up here. Well, maybe not deer, but some other type of animal. Let's get a house up there. As we're searching for them. These baobab trees are very weird. Yep, there we go. We should it's actually a mill. And there we go, the ranges should be kind of down here. Let's see if we can draw out any of their forces. Let's focus the spear. Our spies report that Dr. John's army would be on the move in 45 minutes. It is much faster than we expected, so we must hurry. Now here's what we want, want the Shotels focusing on the archery range, while everything else defends the scouts. I think there also is another patch of berries if we explore it this way. You over here, focus that range, hopefully take it down. You do have that, we'll want that next upgrade soon. Oh, okay, good focus on the next range. Oh, Throw this gold out there, but I think there's an elephant up here by this pond. Oh. This side, please. There we go. We'll build that and then hunt the elephant. Hopefully without losing villager. And that range is going down, nice. Because those guys can be quite annoying with the way they attack us. But if we take out their ranges, they are not an opponent who rebuilds their buildings. So we can just cut their production. Oh, only one village is attacking the elephant. Oops. Should we have a palisade though? Okay, well, we, we got it anyway. <laughs> We're safe. We'll send you to that elephant. Oh, they still have archers somewhere. Maybe they do have another range somewhere. I thought they only had those two. But we lost our archers. We still have these light cab at least. Maybe we should do wheelbarrow before we click up. Get some bills on gold. Yeah, Wilbo we'll could be interesting. Maybe they don't have another range, and those archers were just kind of stragglers who hadn't died yet. But Cyan really doesn't pose much of a threat. They do have a castle down there that we'll need to destroy as an optional objective. Well, other than that, they really aren't too much of a threat. Let's add in some farms now. We need another farm. Oh, no, we won't. There's another straight archer. Probably should have gone heavier on food earlier. Oh well. Hopefully that elephant will give us the food we need to click up, and if not, oh, we're also going to need buildings. So we'll get our market and blacksmith ready. 
She just filled it with one villager. Only one Shotel left. <laughs> Some of you actually want to do a lumber camp. Yeah, after this village, we'll look to click up. And we have some good wood over here for a lumber camp. Hope you guys are done too. Just build some farms then. Almost there where we want to click up. When that market goes up, I think we'll be good. And we're up. Perfect. No idols either. Wonderful. We got 13 lumber cam uh, lumberjacks, 12 on food. We might actually want a bit more wood or worrying about TCs when we go up. I think we just kind of go straight to four TCs and start booming. You guys need to be a bit more efficient. Okay, now we're just going to scout around here, see if there's any more buildings that we can destroy. It's that university there. I think they do rebuild villages from their TCs. We've taken out all of their military buildings, so they probably won't be a threat for us. Oh, let's do build mining upgrade. Why not? If there's some villagers that we can kill. Just kill their market, I guess. Good, and we'll have the wood for TCs. Start getting the hills in position to make more TCs. I have gold there. I'll TC. And then we can TC in this forest, but we'll get lots of wood. Then maybe up there later. There should be a path here where we can TC. Let's do an early hand cart. And here we are, a TC spot right somewhere along this path. There we are. Perfect. It's perhaps a bit slow on those TCs, but oh well. Now I'll just try to add in some more farms. And boom up, we still got 35 minutes. Which is great. Yeah, keep chopping there. We can buy food if we need more food. Having that early hand cart is going to be really nice. We're also going to need houses. Let's go to wood when we're done there. Beautiful. Oh, one wood for farm. There we go. Beautiful. And just send the villagers there. Probably not that efficient to send them that far. Oh, they still have another barracks. So let's take that out. And then they have that stable, but they don't do anything from the stable. And I'd like to get in a fourth TC. Just put it here. Just want to get the economy running. Get one more hill there. And we just need to make sure that we keep adding in farms and don't end up putting too many hills on wood and keep an eye on our houses. Make sure we don't get housed. And after four TCs, no, no point in adding a fifth because we only have 150 pop, but this will help us get to imp and then have an economy where I think we'll just make some arbalest. And at some point I really would like for a cyan to be defeated 
because then we'll be able to... Uh, they'll delete their towers and they have a few towers in other bases. They're not really a big deal, but it's nice to get them out of the way. Build a siege workshop, get ready to make a few rams to kill that TC. Sometimes they might make men at arms that can be a problem for the rams, but since we've killed the barracks, they won't do that. Yes, yeah, so you basically just use your starting force to knock the Cyan player out of the game. Get some houses. Use the global queue. I think the global queue is something that could actually be really useful while booming, but I just haven't quite gotten used to using it. Just always make sure that you have two villagers queued everywhere. Just get a university ready too, because we'll need that for our upgrades, our ballistics, and whatnot. Just turn on the queue. You can even do the gold mining upgrade at some point. There we go. Uh, we can't fit a farm there. Need to take that out. Let's go hunt these things. We need 200 food for that. Okay, awesome. Now I think is the time we can start sending some villagers over here. Start building up on that side of the map. And then we'll do the same thing also on this side of the map. And get our multiple bases built up. Oh, we can actually kill the TC with our... They don't have any villagers to garrison in it. They do have some villagers there, though. Let's get a ram started. Let's get some houses going. And that should be, hopefully, actually, all the villagers we need. And when the villagers come here, they should discover our ally. A siege workshop, get a couple of archery ranges going up. Oh, another scout. Useful to fend off these lions. Forgotten about this scout. Not particularly useful, but nice to have. And as that stable goes down, now we can focus on the TC that doesn't have vills. I guess they don't rebuild their vills. And we'll click up and start worrying about our upgrades for archers now. You can even send more onto gold, which I think would be a good thing. The thumb ring, clutching, ballistics. Actually, we'll get ready for a castle. Oh, they have a villager there. Oh, and they also have garrison their TC, so they are making villagers. Once we get two rams, we'll fight that TC. Let's stop queuing the vills. I think we have enough vills. We'll just focus on using the food for upgrades now. Okay, let's just build a stable here so we can get scouts. We we'll need to... Orient myself on that side of the map. Let's do stone mining because we're mining stone. We can do town watch too. Why not? Upgrade crossbow. Go for any stray villagers we have here. I'm also going to want a stable up there because we'll be fighting some monks later. Okay, where is our ally? It should be right here. <laughs> We've completely missed him. Normally it's kind of hard to miss him. There we go. 
And I'm just gonna put a bunch of ranges there. Oh, uh, TC, there you go. Arbalest. You haven't done Bodkin. Just do all of the upgrades. Siege Engineer, Captor Ram. Should probably actually get some archers there. Where are these idols? Oh, actually, I should go to that gold too. Okay, that's taken out. I'm gonna go for the university now. We're actually losing bills here due to those few pikemen. Oh well. Bracer. Let's get a siege workshop or two queued there. And the Arbalest should clean that up, no problem. And now we have 20 minutes. Which is hopefully more than enough time, but we will need quite a few arbs here. So let's start getting more ranges. Not that one there. So you just get some scouts there. Those rams get ready. Probably should be allowing more villages to gold. There we are. Okay, we so have a good number of herbs. Let's start pushing down here into the space. You guys get ready there, we're gonna have to deal with some monks. Get into the seed workshop here. And there will be some rams, but also some Shotel warriors here. With this many arbs, we shouldn't have a problem dealing with the Shotel warriors. Now let's actually delete some bills so we don't need any more. Yeah, this 150 pop is quite small and will be a bit of a challenge for us to deal with. That's the hard part for this scenario. The small pop limit. Okay, well, let's get this group and we're going to go visit the Orthodox monks, who are our enemies. The monastery up ahead is very important to the Aksumites. We should destroy it. Okay, and that Shotel will deal with anything that gets converted. Okay, there you go. The monks are dead. Let's get a couple of rams up there. Should deal with that. There's going to be a castle over there. This is where the Aksumites train the elephants. If we destroy the castle and feed the elephants, they will not be able to do that. Okay, hopefully this is the end of them for Philly's villagers. Oh, they're fighting back against the scouts. <laughs> so go get that. And we're going to do the micro down here. Get a few more herbs. Get that castle out of the way, and then the hard part is going to be this is going to be some onagers here, so we'll need to micro. A bit of micro, and we'll take the hill, and we'll split. Hopefully, okay, we'll lose everything there. 
Okay, Scion's not defeated yet. I'd really like for him to be defeated. So they delete the tower. Oh, they have another Onager. Be careful of that. Oh, lost that group. Oh, well, that, that'll just let me train them on this side of the map. Well, I'll need them. A few rams. I really would like Cyan to be defeated. Oh, go for that monastery, please. We still got 13 minutes. And there's a few more bases that we need to destroy. We just need to be very speedy and actually pay attention to our micro. To lead useless villagers. Well, you're here and you only have a scorpion and not an onager, so we're going to deal with you. The rebels actually have an onager, so they are a bit more difficult to deal with, with only these arbs. We should actually continue upgrading them. Okay, now we have some rams, we can go here. And also a couple more rams that can come down here, but we're going to start taking out docks. Let's just do that upgrade, why not? Okay, we lost apparently all of our rams down there. Don't know what we ran into. But... Oh yeah, there's that, that camp there. There'll be some scorpions, so we'll want some units for that. We'll take that out. You come over here. Okay, that's fine. Just need to set the gather point down there. Oh, they're just a couple of villagers in that tower. Up oh, and they're running away from the tower instead of garrisoning in it. Perfect. As we come over here, we're going to find more docks to take out. And I just need to check if there are any units here. And if not, then the rams can deal with it wherever those rams just went. These monks will no longer be able to oh. march west with Dagnajan and boost the morale of his army. Okay, we have all these useless rams sitting around here. Okay. Search for any more villagers. Maybe they're by their lumber camps. These rams come over here. You can focus on that dock. Go for the TC. Don't need you or you. And we probably don't need these farmers if we're trading only arbalest and rams. Oh. And here we go. It's those scorpions that would be the problem. We want the rams to take them out. Okay, yes, we finally have defeated Cyan, which is good because they'll delete their towers. And destroy that dock. You guys come back up here to destroy this, these villagers. Have the rams go for the scorpions. The buildings. Okay, you rams. Just delete you because they don't want to reposition you. <laughs> I have to 
that the thing gets Be sure we keep track of these straggly units, so that, 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 that we can keep that our that food that supplies, that or keep our population that space that going that properly. Are you guys defeated yet? Yep, but now there's no towers here because Cyan's defeated. Cyan would otherwise have some towers in these bases. Say some herbs that we can micro against. Yep, we have blacksmith upgrades. We still have six minutes left. Oh, they didn't delete that tower though. They still have that one. They deleted most of their towers, or maybe they didn't delete them. So when normally they delete their towers when they're defeated. At least they did the last time I played this. Last time I, when I played this and didn't realize there were orthodox monks on those mountains because I couldn't pass on my way to them. Okay, there's all those lock swords been taken out. Oh, are they not our enemy? There we go. That's why we weren't killing them. I need to set that earlier. There should be units on this side to take out. Yeah, just some knights. So just fire and retreat. Bit of micro. And they're taken out. Wait, why, why do the rebels have walls in their base? Probably should have sided with them against the rebels. There's that round. Going there. And they should have one more base along that river. Just take out the rest of those buildings. Come on, yellow. Time to be defeated. Build my own castle here. Mutual mutual interest. The Alodian rebels promised to conduct raids on our enemies for the mere price of three hundred gold. Send them three hundred gold. Uh, another three hundred. Okay. And I think we just have one more camp here to destroy. Let's bring down the rams. And I think that's all of the forces there. Uh, nothing there that we actually need. We could do a monastery. Just for purposes of doing heresy and uh, faith, so that we don't get converted when Dagnijan sends monks at us. And we still have two minutes. Hopefully, we can destroy this archery range with two minutes, and that's the last thing we'll need to destroy. I think. And that should be all of these bases. I think it is. Just check if I got the achievement. And no. Is there anything left? Destroyed that wonder. Defeated Cyan. Killed all of these bases. What? Is there anything left? Killed the docks. That's, that's gotta be everything. Yeah, and that's their main base. Our spies reported Dagnajan's army would be on the move in 45 minutes. It is much faster than we expected, so we yeah, must that's the wrong line. It's deep conscription. Siege engineers, sure. Okay, I wonder when the achievement actually fires. Because we've definitely killed everything that we actually need to kill. Else we literally have to destroy all of the palisades. I have spotted a large Atsumite army heading west. They must not reach the western path. Oh. get them on their oh. stance. 
And then we'll come through here. And hopefully die to heresy and faith. Sure. Because they will in a few months, might as well. Be more conversion resistant. Let's see, where is this army? There you go. A bunch of Shotel warriors running straight into Arbalest. Yeah, so they're not going to last long. That's simple. I think the scouting report says that this guy has war elephants, but he literally only has one elephant to his him. Let's take out these arrows in the back. There you are. And you should go down pretty quickly. The king of and that's it. Is dead. Without its leader, the empire will soon crumble before the power of Yodid, the rightful heir. Okay, so let's let me just check my achievements again. And okay, good, we did get it this time. Whew. I was worried before because last time I did this, I went through, I killed everything, I won this war, and then I didn't, I didn't realize there were monks up here because they blend in, they're gray, and the scouts don't mention them, and your units, like, they don't pathfind up here. I was scattered, like, all around here, and I didn't see them, and I right-clicked here, and it was like, oh, there's no, there's mountains there, let's just run away, but no, there's monks here that you gotta kill their wonder, but anyway, here's a nice, pretty army of lots of siege rams that he didn't use. But you have to keep this castle alive. That's pretty simple. That see the hints. They they such a liar. They say he has an army of war elephants. Uh, there's no definitely no war elephants there. When the news of Darknejan's death reached the city of Axum, both of his sons tried to seize the throne for themselves. A civil war broke out, and the once mighty empire began to crumble. Of course, you did but a soft snoring drew my attention to my son. The lad was already sleeping. Okay, lots of stars. Pretty good KD with those herbalist. Gold stars everywhere. 103 villagers. And oh, what what is that? Wonder destruction. Oh, nice. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.